Hello. I know I'd make a little video about an old oscilloscope I got running around. I've had running around for years. An old RCA WO 33A, an old tube type one. It was one of the smaller portable ones I used to sell back then. And it's kind of thin on features, no real features at all, but. All the basic controls, of course, intensity, on off, focus, vertical position, vertical calibration, sync, sweep burner, horizontal gain, horizontal position, and of course, sweep select. Either uh, in the standard sweep settings, line input, or horizontal input. Line is where it connects the plates directly to 60 cycle AC coming in. Vertical range is narrow, wide band, and a calibration position to standard AC coming in for calibrate the vertical scale, which is as it's set up now, it doesn't have a vertical scale, so it's kind of indifferent. It's got sync internal or external input. Used to have a different style connector on the input, but I changed it over to standard binding post, which fit my applications better. And you can see sync selector here and external sync input here ground and vertical input and over the using it there it's pretty much the bandwidth starts cutting off past two megahertz once you start getting up into three megahertz or so then the roll off effect from the vertical amplifiers starts becoming a problem and as you can see on the display this lower end scope did not utilize trace return blanking so you can see the waveform as the trace gets done scanning and heads back towards the start of the re uh, scan or the retrace so to speak and you can see the trace return so well, on higher end scopes normally as you know would blank the trace as it's returning from end to beginning but not this one I'll take the unit take the cover off so you can see what's inside alright here's a side view of it as the units go, it's pretty straightforward design. The vertical amplifier right here is a 6BR8A. The vertical final deflection amplifier is a 6BK7. The horizontal oscillator is a 12 t 7 Followed by another Trev AT7 for the vertical deflection amplifier. While power supply is a traditional can style, box style transformer, the standard high voltage filter caps, the Switching section for the vertical gain select of course with trimmer capacitors to adjust high end roll off while the other bypassed resistors, frequency compensated resistors and stuff and the vertical uh, input divider section so while the was on oscillator section 
the horizontal frequency selection capacitors here that's selected via the range select switch while on the other side at the bottom you have the primary B plus rectifier and then you have a triode which is being used as a high voltage rectifier even though it's uh, not really designed for that service and I don't know whether that is intentional or not whether it's designed like that but in its current state it's got a 6C4 for a high voltage rectifier and on the back side you can see the high voltage filter cap, the back the high voltage rectifier, and the and the B plus rectifier, while the filter caps and this filter cap, the high voltage filter cap has been changed since it has been built. It was already changed when I got it, so I don't know who done that. And for the mounting of the CRT, the neck on it is pretty much a standard mounting system used on a lot of them. And that's basically all of the internals it uses standard film capacitors which have a tendency in going bad and it's got ceramic and carbon composition and wire round resistors inside but on this one they've all seemed to pretty much survive the years without any problems which is surprising considering its age and take Pop it up, plug it back in, and the little dial or uh, indicator pilot light, which normally should be glowing red right there, burned out a long time ago and I just left it out because it has never really served a purpose. Well, it tells you when it's on, but. I haven't had a tendency to leave thing turned on with the trace turned down, so never been an issue for me. So overview of an old tube type scope. One that has seemed to stand the test of time, so take care, take it easy.